Good morning, my beautiful sunshines. I just, I feel that I have just found the life hack for me. Let me explain. I showed you guys me setting up my walking pad under my standing desk in my woman cave. And let me tell you, I can walk for a full hour. In fact, I think I walked the other day for even longer than an hour, like an hour and a half. And I didn't even notice. Like I don't even see time going by. Time has no meaning when I'm on this walking pad. I put on my headphones. I'm playing Baldur's Gate. It's a very obscure game that none of you probably know of, but notice nothing. An hour flies by. I'm like, this is magical. Never have I ever had cardio go by so quickly. Now my hack would be playing this game specifically. Find something that just fully distracts your mind, whether it be mobile game, reading a book, scrolling through TikTok, whatever, you know? Your little like guilty pleasures almost. I don't like wasting too much time on video games, but if I'm gonna do it and I can walk at the same time, are you joking? And this game is nice because I don't have to have like both mouse and hand on the keyboard or anything the whole time. I'm just kind of like clicking and stuff. It's perfect. It's my new daily life hack. I'm so excited about it. I know there are benefits of actually going outside. So we'll be doing some of my outdoor walks. You know, I like to work out with the garage door open. I like to feel the breeze on my face, the outdoors. We love it. But I've never had any kind of, even like low intensity state state cardio, which is all this is, go by so dang quickly. It's mesmerizing. I already want to do it again because I'm getting a little bit of pleasure, you know? I'm getting a little bit of reward because I get to play my game and I'll have to do the walk. It's not that hard. I go two and a half miles per hour personally. That's a very comfortable speed for me where I don't feel like I'm gonna fall over anything while I'm not really paying attention to my walking that much. And yeah, it's been pretty grand. So I just need to share that. I need to share that little life hack in case, in case you want to try it out. I would recommend that being said. I'm wearing a Vitality Cloud 2 set. I love the way it fits. This top is a story top. I just like a bit of it. Nice amount of bagginess. Hello, my dearest. I love you. I love you. All right, sunshines, you know the drill. Today's video is sponsored by Factor. We love them, we are loyal. This week, my sister's been in town, so we had some extra Factor meals for both of us. And when I say we've been chowing down on these, we have. I had to tell her we had to stop eating them because I have to record this video. <laughs> so I only have a few left, but they're so good. I mean, for me, not that I struggle cooking chicken, but I do have a tendency to overcook it because I have a paranoia about, you know, undercooking it. When I tell you this chicken is always perfectly cooked, Perfectly cooked chicken every time. Variety. You want vegetarian, you want fish, you want meat, whatever you want, they got it. Breakfast options, add-ons. It's just a plethora. There's just a lot of possibilities. You can get four to 18 meals a week, whatever you want. I usually stick with like four, but this week we had seven or eight. Again, my sister was in town, so very convenient. Today, we're gonna have, yeah, pasta. Wait, I made pasta the last video. Maybe I shouldn't make it again. It's so good though. I'll mix it up for you guys. You can see something else. Ooh, this looks good. Let's do this. Peanut Buddha bowl with cilantro, quinoa, gochugaru, spiced peanuts, and sesame broccoli. And it looks like sweet potato in there too, or butternut squash or something of that variety, which I am a big fan of. So two minutes in the microwave, ready to go. Are you kidding? Could it be easier? No. I could not. I can't wait until I live in a different house, just with a different kitchen. Not that I don't love this kitchen, it's just I'm bored of it, you know? If I owned this house, every part of me would knock out this wall. There's no reason for this wall to be here. This house was made in day and age when women were supposed to be in the kitchen and not seen or heard. The main living room is the man's room and the man doesn't need to see the women. That's what I imagine because I'm like, why would you make your kitchen close off like this when there's so much space and you didn't have to? It upsets me. Perhaps it's a load bearing wall. I don't know, what do I know? Um, regardless, your girl loves an open floor kitchen plan. I really hope that the next home I live in has that. Where will I be living after this? I don't know because I can literally go anywhere. I can go anywhere, but where do I go? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I have some a while, I have a while to, to pick. Where should I go? Part of me kind of is thinking like Pacific Northwest could be fun, but I don't know if I would enjoy all that rain. Or would I? But right now I'm 10 minutes from the beach, you know? Can you beat that? Not really. It's hard, it's a hard choice. There's a lot of options out there. I can move back to Austin, but I don't want to. It's very hot. It's very hot and I can always move back there, you know? I got family. I got like nice foundation over there already. We don't have to go there. So where do we go? Where do we go? This smells peanutty. And I do this in a Okay, sir. This is a vegetarian dish. It is not for a carnivore. 
such as yourself. Very sorry. What are you doing? I want to pour this in an aesthetic way, but I'm just like, I'm not very gifted at that kind of thing. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dollop it in the middle. I'm into it. Mm. Oh, so good. This is our peanut Buddha bowl after. Squish thinks there's a mouse in that drawer or something. I don't know. What, how is he? <gasps> Squish! And we've lost him. We've lost him to the underside. You know, if someone didn't know you were back there, they could squish you. <laughs> what are you doing, you silly goose? Yeah, there's no mice back there. Come on out. Come on. You can do it, fat boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Squash your big old fat body out of there. Out of the drawer, please. Come on. Squash. Out. Don't forget to head to factor75.com using code Nikki50 for 50% 50 off of your first factor box. If you haven't tried it yet, if you get half off a box, you might as well give it a go. Get yourself a week of food for half off. Literally nothing to lose. And thank you so much, Factor, for being a loyal sponsor of the vlog. Appreciate it. Let's move on. Let's discuss. Look at him, so cute. I was just watching a video of someone showing their setup for their videos. Oh my God, this girl had so many lights on her. The actual beams of the sun are just in her face from every single direction. And I'm like, you're telling me that you keep your eyes open while all of these lights are shining in your face? Like, it seems overwhelming to me. It seems like a lot. And I got LASIK many moons ago, almost 10 years ago now, believe it or not. 2014 I think is when I got it. So yeah, almost 10 years ago. My eyes are a little more sensitive to light after that. I would say that's the only side effect. Some people get like a dry eye side effect. I haven't gotten that personally at all. But that being said, I don't think I could actually survive with that many lights on me. Is that why they look so flawless? Because it's just blurring out any possible imperfection. To be fair, they are also flawless human beings. Not flawless, but you know, gorgeous, beautiful specimens of course but perhaps i'm just trying to make myself feel better for looking like but you know what i'm trying i'm here to try i'm trying to be relatable i'm like hey i'm actually just like you somewhat i don't know maybe not i don't, I don't you know <sighs> why why you want to know how much of a mess i am you see this bag right here that's from portland you want to went to portland i don't even know end of june it's august okay it's august and i haven't i'm not proud of it I just don't need the stuff in there because it's not cold. And it was cold in Portland. I'll do it, I'll do it. I checked my mail, got some packages. This one's Vitality. And I'm pretty sure they had a lunch today or somewhere around today. It's the daydream. These are really cute. The color block, oh, complimentary colors. <gasps> it's so cute. And a tank. I love their tanks. Their tanks hit at the perfect spot. This is a Vitality tank right now that I'm wearing. I can't stop, I'm wearing the shorts too. I have an addiction. I really like Vitality stuff. You know, you just go through phases, what you like. Vitality's it for me at the moment. I like other stuff also. I went through a crop shop boutique phase where I was buying so much crop shop boutique, it was ridiculous. It was after Max passed and I was skinny vibes, you know? Sad girl skinny vibes. Don't wanna be that skinny vibes because it was sad and it was just because I was sad. But things looked differently on me then and now Crop Shop Petite's just a little too small. Their shelf's just very dainty, very, very dainty. Like little tiny triangles and I just, and it's not me right now. But Vitality, very much me. Bit of me. This is my Ulta order. I had to restock on my face wash. I have this face wash, my tried and true. Only if you have dry, dry face and you hate the way your face feels dry. Cause sometimes I wash it with a different face wash and it just feels so dry, but it does feel very clean. But I, I like to feel moisturized. I like to feel like not dry. <laughs> so if you're a dry face girly and you also feel like that, I'm showing you the back of it because I'm really smart. This costs our X. I get it at Ulta. Triple Hyaluronic Moisturizing Cleanser. The only cleanser, and I have like 15 of them because I just get sent them from random like PR packages and things. I've tried them all, this one. It's like not a foamy, it's like a creamy consistency. I just love it, I just love it. I bought it like seven times, 10 out of 10. I also was adding things to my shopping cart because I wanted free shipping, as we do. So I got this perfumed hair and body mist. It's not good, I don't know. I like smelly things, I like things that smell good. It smells like a spa. I don't know if I like that for my body. I like that. I like that for like my environment. Why did this come off? It's interesting. I don't hate it. I don't know if I love it. Tahitian gardenia. 
it's not bad. I don't love it. I don't love it. Maybe it'll grow on me. I also got this because someone on TikTok said it was just good and I just want to try it. It is brightening under eye tint. It's like a color corrector kind of thing, I believe. I thought, maybe, I hopefully. It's pink, pink tones. I think I have pink tones, I hope, I don't know. I already put makeup on today, but we'll see if that works tomorrow, maybe. That's what I got, those three things. I was trying to hit free shipping. I do want to try on this new Vitality, though. Pretty excited. It's cute. I will show you. Here we are. Love the top. Adjustable straps, major key. Thank you. And Vitality tanks, the last few that I've had, I've actually left the pads in them, weirdly. And I don't hate it. I mean, I would still take them out, they'd be fine, but I actually don't feel like they, like they don't annoy me to the part where I feel like they're changing the shape of my boob. I feel like they're kind of subtle. Like I kind of forgot they were even in the black one, the black tank that I was just wearing, but they were in fact in there. I don't hate the pads. I think you should take them out when you wash them, but they're not bad. I can feel them in this one. They feel pretty thin. But yeah, this is the new collection. Daydream, I think it's called. It's so cute. I love the color. Very girly pop, very fun. And the tank again, I just love where it hits. It's just, you know, right at the belly button for me. I don't know, I guess people are different lengths, so it probably hits differently on different people, but I'm a fan. I forgot, I had one more box. This one's from Milani, and Milani's kind of a wild card because they dip their toes into every water. Like, it could be a bag, it could be a shakers, it could be clothes, it could be, it could be anything. They, they'll do anything. It's kind of fun. You just never know what you're gonna get. Water jugs! All right, all right, all cute. Two new water jugs. Tis the season. I've been liking the Stanley cups because they just keep myself cold when I'm outside, but I prefer these for the amount of water that you get. I feel like I definitely drink more water when it's out of these and it gives you your little daytime check-in things. I'm like, oh, it's 5 p.m. I probably should have drinking this much by now. I feel like it's like 3 p.m. right now. There's no shot of drinking that much water. <laughs> like, absolutely not. So maybe we should get to it, you know? These are like my, more of my favorite colors, but I'm kind of leaning more towards this one for some reason. But to improve my water intake, I might be using one of these because I have noticed that I've been slacking. I've been slacking. Storm my life. Hi, sunshines. Guess who's here? Me. Sister number two. Number two. Oh, oh yeah. Second <laughs> oh, I have to be number two. <laughs> Cheyenne is here. Today we're going whale watching. We're charging the Tessie right now and then we're running with the whales. Hopefully it'll be a good one. Last time I went with my mom, we saw like a thousand dolphins. It was really cool. So my expectations are pretty high, but the time before that, we didn't see that much. So it just depends on the time of year, I guess. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But we're bundled up, even though it's summer. Um, they said to wear winter jackets, hoodies, double, triple layers. I'm sweating. <laughs> we're sweating and it should be good time. arrived at whale watching, we signed our waivers, our lives away, and we're ready to see some whales and dolphins. Oh yeah. We're gonna swim with them, I think. Yeah. I'm gonna just shunk her in. That boat's so colorful. Water horse charters. Looks fun. But they have all Hey, Hello. 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 Not very really sunny yet, but it's gonna warm. Yeah, it's gonna warm up. Can't wait. So I went and got some different press-on nail choices. These, which I've had on my fingers, but I just popped off, so I need to <laughs> replace them. I also got these Kiss Nude Acrylic. I got one more. This is Mode Loans. I don't know, I just saw them, I like that they're short. 
I like these colors when I'm realizing that you can like see my real nail underneath. This is the only nail I couldn't get off, so I left it on. I am gonna put them back on. I think my secret here, through trial and error, I used one kind of glue the first time, and then I got this glue off Amazon because I had a bunch of reviews that was like, this is the secret, this is it. I don't know. It worked pretty well though. So I'm gonna give this another go. Put on these nails. Let's see what they look like. These are my ugly trash nails before. <laughs> I just don't like the way my nail beds are. They're just not very attractive. They're all right. I don't, I don't hate them, but let's elongate them a little. Make them look pretty. I'm going to roughen them down. And then I use this primer, which is basically just like an alcohol to dry them out. I think that's what it is at least. I squish squash pigs to it. I also have this little stand that I put my Kindle on and then I can, I can read at the same time. Love that press. Much better. Mission complete. I very artfully got some glue on my fingers, of course. This is the old one. The new ones look better. I think I, I mastered it a little bit better this time. I put the glue on more evenly. Though who knows, maybe it'll dry and look weird again. I feel like a lady, and I don't really like having very long nails. These are short enough that they don't bother me, and I really like them. What's the brand? B Tart Box Nails. So far so good, and it comes with hella. So at least there's 300 pieces. We love it, we love it. Okay, you wanna know what was not in my plans for this weekend prepping for a hurricane? I don't even know what to expect. I'm not in Houston anymore, you know? This is the last place I thought a hurricane would find me. Not excited about it, and I'm really hoping that everything's gonna be fine. I just showed you my nails, still going strong. I got these nail stickers. I wanted to show you what they look like. Hello, squishy squish. So as you can see, cutie little flowers. Little flowers as well. Why are you just eating things? Basically just variations of flowers. I think they're all really adorable. I'm thinking I put them on with like little tweezers or something. I had both of my parents message me this morning and that is very unusual. My, I'm not a talk to my parents every day kind of gal as much as I love them. So it was very strange to see a message. Not only my mom, but my dad. And my dad was like, I'm sure your mother's already messaged you, but are you okay for the hurricane tonight? Are you prepared? I'm like, what do I need? Everyone says get water, but I'm like, it's gonna rain for one day. It literally says rain Sunday and that's it. Maybe Saturday, I mean Monday, I don't know. So I'm not really sure what I was supposed to prepare. I have some puzzles and a crochet kit in case the power goes out. Some candles. But other than that, I don't really have much. I'm manifesting good vibes only. Oh, that's precious. Like, oh, wow. Beautiful. It's so simple too. I don't know if it's gonna stay, but that's for the thumb. I'm gonna put another kind of bigger one on my ring finger, I think. That's so cute. I could put it on every finger, but do I need it on every finger? I think that's really cute. And it involved actually no effort. You can't beat it. You really can't. Hello, beautiful. But yeah, I keep looking up things about the hurricane and I'm getting more nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Some things just seem like it's gonna be a lot of rain, but then I'm seeing it's like a state of emergency for San Diego. And I'm like, well, that seems dramatic. I wonder if these are gonna stay on my name. Like, do I need to put a top coat on them maybe? Beautiful little baby. So cute. I like it. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't wanna go too ham on them because I just don't want to. Very happy with my purchase. I'll let you know if they last. I also got these, this other pack of them. Looking at them, they're not like 3D, so they don't look as fun. Hey, Ruby. They're just kind of like gold. These have ones that go, you know how I have like the French tip here? So it has like gold that you would put like under the French tip. These kind of things. This is the vision that I got from the examples that they were showing. So it could be cute, but I'm not sure. I'm sure that would be pretty too and simple. I wanna keep it like simple, nothing too flashy. I like it. I love it. Fun nail stuff. I haven't been a nail girl in a while, but I'm very excited that these are staying on because I'm just a press on girly. I hate, hate sitting in a salon, like a nail salon. I don't know why it gives me such anxiety. It's kind of dramatic, honestly. But I just don't, I hate sitting there. I don't like the smells, I don't like the sounds, I don't like the way the machines that they put on you, the drill things feel on your hands. It just makes me very uncomfortable. I also got some ankle wraps because my ankles have been bothering me. I've just always had weak ankles, but now I'm like, what the fuck do I do with this, huh? This doesn't look as simple as I thought it did in the diagram. I'll figure it out. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And I hope Hurricane Hillary doesn't break my house.